Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Ape Escape. Today we are doing episode 2. Don't know what's going to be entitled. Uh, so, we're just going to play some levels and find out what the hell we're calling it, I guess. I keep thinking for some reason I'm doing like hardcore videos. And for those that are not aware, um, or if maybe you're new to my channel, whatever. I have, an, I have a second channel and it's called Hardcorean. Where I essentially do games on hard or challenge runs of the sort. So if you're curious about that, I'd say check it out in the description. You can find it there. Or you can always just, you know, look it up on the YouTubes. It's hard Korean guides. It has to be specifically with the S at the end. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of those recently. So that's kind of where that kind of comes into play. Or why I've been... You know, using those as my intro, so to speak, because that's my intro for that channel. But yeah, now we finally got the slingshot, and this thing is going to come, you know, especially in handy toward, well, the obvious, you know, flying characters and such that we have to go collect. I don't know how many monkeys we need, but the game will tell you anyway. Let's see. All right. So let's go ahead and equip the slingshot now because we have it also as you can tell there are about eight gadgets in total in the game which means that you're gonna have to at some point in time switch up your gameplay style in order to fit whatever it may be that you might need to fit into that uh slot for that moment so you know at, at some point we're gonna need like different gadgets so we're gonna switch them up however knowing me i'll probably just end up doing what I normally do in this game and just switch them when I need them the most and then just have like very specific ones equipped at all times and I feel like the sonar is one of those ones that I equip all the time and then I feel like the slingshot just isn't one that I would suggest having equipped always either hold on why is this am I being dumb or is it just okay I guess don't know why my PS5's also loading up a disc right now. I mean, there is a disc in there, yes, but I don't know why. <laughs> it's trying to load up for some reason. Okay, that was bizarre. Hmm. Also, I thought this was an ice world. I, I think it might be like a half and half ish area. I'm not really sure. Just want to check my jumps. I might also miss a few of these coin things. I don't know what they're exactly called. I, to be fair. But, you know, I might miss a few of them. Also, we didn't need to do that. I could have just hit the button with my stick. That's alright. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, so these guys right here, these guys are a little bit annoying. So, pretty much, they end up spinning around a lot until they get dizzy, and then you can attack them. You can attack them normally, and then just knock them away. But, the key trick is to typically just Avoid them. Let them do their thing. Spin out and then just go for the, you know, the final blow. Go for the kill. You fucking dick. I even saw him coming down too and I still did nothing about it. At least with this game, if you happen to get hit, you typically can just get a piece of health back. So. It's not a, not a big deal, technically. Well, it's not a big deal, at least early game. It, it's definitely a pain in the ass getting attacked late game, though. I can tell you that for a fact. You know, I had my perfect opportunity to grab him, and I still messed it up. Uh, oof. Nice. There we go. I don't think the bridge is... I don't think they collapse. I don't think they change. All right, they change back. Also, I thought this game did do the thing where, like, if there's a monkey out there... Oh, wait, maybe it does still. Hold on. There might just, there might not be any monkeys out here. Yeah, because, like, there's monkeys this way. So, yeah, it still does the whole area thing. Oh, yeah, something else, too, is um, enemies can also drop ammo for your slingshot. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you see these types of walls right here, uh, that basically just signifies that you're going to need to come back later with something a little bit more explosive. 
well, not explosive, but something a little bit more damaging. I'm, I'm going to try, just out of curiosity. If, it, if I'm pretty sure explosions don't work. Yeah, I, I didn't think so, but, you know, just worth a, worth a shot. I don't want to spoil exactly what it is that you need to do. Also, this is a little bit weird for a game to kind of do there, because usually, usually a caged wall does not allow you to shoot between it. But this is one of those cases where they do allow you to do that. So I think that's kind of just a bit strange. And that's the thing about Ape Escape, I guess, in general, you could say is, technically speaking, it's a bit more strange and different than some other platformers might be. It still is, for what it's worth, you know, a collect-a-thon. It still does a lot of the collect-a-thon and 3D platforming elements that we're all used to. But it does them just a bit differently enough to where um, it's a bit outside of the norm. It's the same concept with Tomb Raider. That was another thing, too, I was kind of considering doing. I actually did try doing a Tomb Raider Let's Play a long time ago, but never ended up finishing it. I actually ended up deleting the videos because at the time I was so worried about my own professionalism because I was just like you know, deeply terrified that if, uh, for some, you know, reason, if I don't... Wait. that work? No. I was worried at the time, like, if for some reason that just, you know, might look unprofessional for my channel. I was very weird back then. I'm still weird now, but, you know, it was definitely a bit different. But nowadays, um... There's Let's Plays that people cannot see. I've privated them. For a good reason, typically. <laughs> Either because it just wasn't completed and I just... I don't know, I didn't care. Or there's also probably something I might have said that might have been a bit bad for YouTube's sake. Which apparently is a thing now, I guess. is just... If you say anything remotely a little bit over the edge of humor for them, then... You're immediately just struck down by, like, fucking Thor's hammer or something. So, you gotta be careful with what you say on YouTubes. Alright, so here we go. We got our rival fights. You know, I just now realized this guy had a ponytail. I never really remember seeing the back of his head. Oh, well, anyway, this is something that the first game kind of does. I don't think the other... I, I'm... Definitely, for a fact, for sure, 2 does not do this. I've played a lot of 2, let's just say that. And I know for a fact that it does not do a race type thing like this one does. Also, this guy's a motherfucking cheater, too. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is a little bit more annoying than it should be. And I probably lost the race. I wouldn't be surprised if I did. There's a potential chance to catch up, but uh, I think we've, I think I've lost. I mean, there's times where he can get kind of stuck on things too, but I don't think it really happens as nearly as often as it as you'd want it to. Well, he doesn't cut corners. I can tell you that. Also, I think double jumping is what's probably... Yeah, look at this shit. You see that crap? See how he just randomly just gets like a speed boost for no reason? That shit just pisses me off. I don't care. Just... Yeah, I lost. Whatever. Who cares? But yeah, you have to be... You pretty much have to do these. You have to beat them in these races. And it's just... A bit dickish. A bit annoying. But yeah, double jumping kind of tends to kind of slow you down. Wait a minute. Oh, I guess you can continue on. Oh, well. I think if you beat him, I think you get a thing for it. So I guess they're not... I guess they're not mandatory? But then why even have them at all in the first goddamn place is what I want to know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try it again. I'll try it again. Yeah, typically uh, double jumping makes you kind of lose a bit of speed. And then whenever he's... I don't know. Yeah, like, whenever he's doing things... That requires platforming, or at least, in a sense, anything that requires some sort of skill, he'll just immediately just 
barge right in front of you and basically, you know, rubber band the fuck out of you and beat you that way. But then there's times like that, you know, where he'll get slowed down on, like a, a like a slope where he'll just sit on his ass and wait a few seconds. These races are typically not that hard. It's just that there's those times where if you get hit by something, you're pretty much just kind of screwed. And you want to try your best to, well, not have that happen. I still win, so that's good. But yeah, these ones kind of just suck. I, I hate the races. I've always hated these. <laughs> There's three, I think, because I think there's, like, three big worlds in, in all technicality. Like, there's levels, but they also happen to inhabit, you know, worlds and what have you. Oh, so you get, like, five five coins from it. Okay. But basically, you want to know, you, you want to get them. Just, if you're going for 100%, then you're going to have to do that, so might as well just not come out of the way now in case. Just in case I decide to do it. Uh, but yeah, one thing you can tell is if you've got all the coins or not. If you look on the map, you'll see that it says cleared, which basically just means that like, you beat it. But you'll see like a, a little specter coin on there, and that'll basically just signify that, hey, you are finished with that world in, in terms of uh, coins and stuff that you can collect. Alright, so here's a hula hoop. This is one of those ones where you pretty much just essentially... Super hoop, my bad. It's one of those ones where you pretty much just kind of have almost on all the time throughout the game. It's a gadget that's that's worth keeping on. And what it essentially does is you just spin it around and then you go really fast and there you go. And of course they fucking bother you about it. I mean, to be fair, this is a game that, you know, kids would also play. So I guess they had to specifically tell everybody you know how to play. Which makes sense. It's just annoying that these mailboxes are not optional things. But then again, if you have like a scanner, then you wouldn't be able to... Well... Hit them, I guess. So, I don't know. Alright, capture five... Oh! There's 13 monkeys total, but we have to capture five... Okay. So I was wrong about that, too. What do you know? What a surprise. So we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, oop. No. I had the wrong one. I'm using touchpads, so it has to, you know, select and start are a bit strange. But basically, um, the other thing with the hula hoop, and I'm not sure if this is true or not, I think it's just probably my own weird psychosis problem that I, I, I seem to have. My brain telling me that one thing is right and one thing is not. It's typically, um, like, I, I've always thought that when it comes to it, the hula hoop itself, that you can actually keep continuously spinning it around, and that it would um, keep you in momentum and still going, you know, fast. I'm not 100% sure, like, exactly how true that may or may not be, but I've always assumed that it was. Also, yes, you do have a, a bar of air, pretty much. But yeah, these are typically the four gadgets that I recommend just keeping on at all times. And then just switch between other gadgets when, when necessary. And these are also technically new as well. These are pretty much just... I guess you could call them like, I don't know, ape pulls or something. I don't know what you'd say. What you would call them. Pretty much what happens is you use them to essentially collect a certain amount of, of monkey. And then when you collect them... Um, you gain access to, like, the new section. I don't know why my brain is just not working at all, like, ever anymore. I think I'm getting too old, man. Yeah, what kind of sucks is, like, you, I think in this game, I'm not really 100% sure how to try it out again, but I think in this one, I think you have to switch to gadgets in order to... Let me try something here. Because, like, yeah, I think you have to select them as a gadget in order to use them as a gadget, but I think... Pretty sure every game, I think, does that anyway. I don't, I don't really, you know what? I don't exactly 100% remember. Technically, if anything, we could probably just have the hula hoop on, like... Well, you know. We could probably switch out the sonar for it, because... No, that's not what I asked for, game. That's probably one of the things that 
tends to kind of bug me a lot when I play this is I tend to try to like hit a certain button because I think that that certain button's gonna do a certain thing but then it doesn't and then it ends up just getting me stuck in whatever the hell I ended up doing. Ooh, man, all right. Yeah, typically those cutscenes are usually done for like, you know, oh hey, you, you did it, you did the thing, good job. Here you go. Also, how do we not have 10 Spectre Coins yet? Yes, we do, I don't know. Also, this world particularly is going to be mostly based around the idea of water. White monkeys, alright, here we go. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Does the thing actually increase sound when I'm not talking? I wonder if it does. Maybe. Hamahad. Oh. Hamahad shock. I think for that guy, we pretty much just kind of have to just go in the water and then catch him that way. I don't think we have much of a choice. Yep, there you go, easy. Yeah, sometimes uh, apes are a little bit easier to catch realistically than they might look. You might think at, at first, like, oh man, this one's going to be a bit hard to get. But then you do it. Oh yeah, also, something I forgot to, uh, to actually try out. If you actually hold R1 and then you happen to resurface, you typically won't jump out of the surface of the water. You won't jump. You're still moving straight, you know what I mean? So, like, if you do something like this, then you're typically fine. I was just a little bit dumb. And, to be fair, like I said, it's been a while since I played this game. So. My memory is not very good <laughs> right now. Just checking if there's a monkey that way or not. I think we have to... I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think of exactly where we might need to jump up to. I think you can jump on those vines. I believe so. Well, we'll find out one way or another, right? Okay, good. Alright. There was a game I was playing recently that, a lot that you had to... Oh, yeah, it was uh, Suede over Galia. That's what it was. Oh, for fuck's sake. But yeah, it is a bit of a furry bait game, but to be fair, it's actually a pretty cool platformer that I'd recommend checking out if you like speed games. And it also has like that... I keep hitting R1. It also has like a 64 style look to it and it's pretty cool. Pretty cool game. I recommend checking it out. It's like 5 bucks on Steam. Like I said, it is a bit on the furry bait side, but you know, if you can get past that then you're probably fine. Okay, I'm getting gypped by the ceiling. Not sure if you can jump through the vines, as in, like, I don't know if I can just hit R. Yeah. I didn't think so. Well, I wasn't sure. Ugh, fucking hate this crap. Fine, you know what? We'll come back later. Do this one later, I guess. Different time. We don't need to do it now. Because for the most part, most of the monkeys you can kind of just collect later. You don't have to do them straight away. Is it weird that whenever I see my YouTube channel profile picture, I always, for some strange, odd-ass reason, think that it's me? <laughs> like, I know it's not. I know it's virtual, but... Like, I'm not bald, but... You know, I, I, I usually cut my hair pretty low. Usually shave my head pretty low. So it kind of just gives me that... That look. That I'm almost sort of bald, but not really. Okay, this part it can be a little bit hard, but only if you're not using the hula hoop. You get knocked off, you come down here, and then, let me see. Yeah, I don't particularly like these holes. I don't mean to piss anyone off with that, like, it's, it's just, this is how it is, man, I don't know what to tell you. This is how I am. There's levels I like, and there's levels I don't, so... Never really been a big fan of water levels, except for, like, maybe Donkey Kong Country 1. Two's, Donkey Kong Country 2's water levels are okay. They're not, they're not offensive. Donkey Kong Country 3, though, oh, those ones, those ones piss me off. 
Those ones just, in my opinion, look ugly and just are annoying to play. Okay. Now, I think for this guy, I think we have to jump on a certain spot to get up to him, I think. But I think we also have to destroy that with a slingshot. For fuck's sake. Maybe. Yeah, probably. No, in this game, I wouldn't be surprised. I keep doing that. Alright, hang on. Sorry, I'm a, little, I'm a little bit itchy for some reason. Oh, I have no good shots. Oh. What is this fucking Minecraft Shh, waterfall shit? <laughs> yes, I know. Minecraft came after, I know. Okay, so at least Slingshot still does work. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes, like, you need to actually have, like, an explosive. There. At least I feel like sometimes you have to. That might not necessarily be 100% true, but... It just gives me that vibe. So this one's pretty easy to catch. Just blow it up, and then you're done. Which I kind of like that aspect, is... When the game just gives you, like, a, a monkey that is... Or an ape that's, you know, terribly annoying to fight. They typically make it a little bit easier to kind of just catch. So that way you don't have to suffer in two ways, I guess you could say. Not sure what... How to get up there again. Come on. Thank you. Oh, there it is. I see it now. That's like some fucking Doom 64 shit. Like, you can't see the goddamn steps on the wall. It's... And that should be almost all of them. Okay. Oh, my bitch. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. We gotta slingshot this. That's not what I asked for, but okay. I think we... No, wait. I think if you hit this... Oh, wait. This makes a pole. Okay. I was gonna say, like, I thought we actually have to climb it, like, you know, horizontally, but I forgot that you can make it into a pole. I'm just gonna kill these things now. Because I know for a fact they're just gonna try to kill me later. Also, these guys right here, we saw some of them earlier, but these backpack, you know, explosive ones, um, they're just. They're a pain. They really are just truly a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, you might think it's easy to, to go from baton straight to net, but surprisingly a lot harder than it looks sometimes. It's weird that way. Also, I know we're kind of near the end of the video, and I really don't want to end it off. I just want to kind of, like, do, like, another mission. Well, like I said, you know, anywhere from, like, 25 to 45 minutes is pretty much just good for me, honestly. So we'll do one more level. We'll do one more level for this episode, just to give you guys more content, because who knows when I might do the next episode. Which I'm doing all these right now in, like, one continuous thing anyway, but still. All right, how many do I gotta get? Six. Okay, cool. This level's a little bit neat. Deter, but I remember also struggling here. And then you saw in the last level, I was trying to go out of bounds out of the water because every time I think of that level, I usually think of this area right here with the the boat. Yeah. Also, make sure you have slingshot out right now because um, some of the monkeys might end up escaping inside of one of these UFO things. Uh, I'm gonna check around the area first before I go inside Dexter. I think that's what his name was. Her name or whatever. Um, in terms of how to get to the boat, I, I think there's... I think we get shot toward it, I believe. I think you have to... I think you, no, I think you have to fly toward it. Oh, I remember this fucking level now. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so I take back what I said about this one being kind of neat. I genuinely hated this one. Kind of weird how there's just random bones floating here, but... That's game design. What do you expect? Also, don't touch the... Don't touch the green-yellow liquidy stuff, because that's basically just stomach acid. I'm about to say, didn't Mario 64 have, like, a level like this? But then I remembered, like, not necessarily. Like, there's... 
technically, like, yeah, you go inside, like, that ship that the eel's protecting, but you don't really go inside somebody's body, I don't think. I'm just thinking of, um, uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Did I say that was one of those ones I'd consider doing? But then I realized, well, while I had considered doing it for a Let's Play, like a recent Let's Play, um, the problem would be that I just hate 100%ing it. Actually, wait, can you actually touch the water? Maybe you can. Oh. Why do I keep lying about everything? Well, it's not like I mean to. It's not like that's what my brain instinctively wants to do. It just... I just... I just misremember everything. I have such a hard... A hard time now with like remembering and memory things I guess oh yeah this section oh god these ulcer things or whatever the fuck they are uh, they send you flying oh god yeah we're pretty much doomed if I'm not careful also sometimes hitting the uh, apes with a hoop doesn't necessarily stop them it does sometimes but it doesn't work all the time ah this place sucks Now, I don't remember if you can, if you can actually take a slingshot and blow him the fuck up with it. Kind of also sucks that in order to, to switch your slingshot things, you have to, I think you have to be aiming with it, I think. Okay, that didn't work. It never does. Nothing ever works. <laughs> it's Ape Escape. What do you want? There. There. Fuck that. God. I think that's it for this area. It's also really, really goddamn bright. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay. Alright. So where to now? Everybody got up there. I guess we gotta go this way, because that's basically the only direction we have. Technically speaking, oh god, just want to avoid those things. I don't know what they are, but I think they're probably like white blood cells or some shit. <laughs> Trying to kill me. They may look, I mean, they, they, they may work like white blood cells, but they don't look white, so I don't know. I have no idea. No, I want to go back this way, please. Please and thank you. Oh right, yeah, you need a you need a powerful tool to get through there. So that's another one of those you gotta come back for. Now I would recommend if you're going for 100 percent like it should be in theory obvious by now. I mean you already get you already have gadgets that you pretty much just collect throughout the game anyway. So in all technicality, you could just say like, it makes sense to come back, you know, when you beat the game, but don't be like me and just try to go back and collect things and then realize that you have to still have to collect more things because you decided to try to, uh, collect them a bit early. So for this part here, this part doesn't exactly explain anything. Uh, what you have to do is you have to wait for it to attack, and then after it's done attacking is when you can attack yourself. Again, it's not really specifically obvious at first. At least it wasn't obvious for me. But then again, I'm also stupid, so... Oh, pfft. Speaking of stupid... <laughs> I thought that was gonna blow me up. I've been playing too much Crash 4 recently, I guess. I was gonna say, sometime today. Also, you don't have to hit just R1. You can actually hit R2. It's both both right shoulder buttons that work for it. That work for jumping. I should probably give more context to things I say. Rather than just saying them and just expecting people to know what, I want, what the hell I'm saying. But that's just my own autistic ass. Not understanding how to talk properly to anybody because I've never really learned very well. I was always, you know, the quiet kid in school. 
Mostly just because I hated everyone, but, you know, that's... That's typical. <laughs> typical when you're that age. So for these little bastards here, I think you have to shoot them in order for them to, to come out. Because they basically... They get attacked, and then they slide out. And that's how it works. But, uh, problem is, if they do this, they can climb back up. And then they can escape. And then you have to do it all over again. You know, it's funny, I... I keep calling it escape, like on accident. Like, I know that's the name of the game, I understand that, and that's funny, but... They literally are just escaping our grasp. They really are just getting away. And becoming kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Those guys are not too bad to catch, though, because all you're really gonna do is just shoot them, and then they get knocked down, get stunned for a bit. So... I almost jumped off. I almost jumped off. Almost got my dick, so. Wait, that just leaves me back here. Oh. Well, then that was pointless. Is it just me or is Spike's shirt off? Well, I, that might be a decision. But you, you can see, like... Like, look at his back. You see where that stripe is? It's on the right side of his neck. So, I think... Oh, okay. I... No, it's not off. It's... Perfect. Okay. I see now. I was just being silly and stupid and not understanding how shirts work either. Oh, that's just typical of me. <laughs> not understanding things. This might be another one of those ones where you probably have to slingshot the monkey again. Maybe. No, I think we wait for him to come back down. Because, yeah, we can't get up there. Yeah, you pretty much have to wait for him to come back, and then there you go. But that opens up that, so that's nice. And I think that stays open. Like, if you were to come back here, I'm pretty sure it just stays open for you later. Okay. Also, the, the thing that annoys me about, the, about this level is the music. Like, you can hear, like, this... Like, I think it's... I don't know if it's the music or if it's just, like, sound effects, but... It just has this continuous noise. That I could just hear right now. It just pisses me off. Also, welcome to the Kingdom Hearts 1 uh, Monstro fight, basically. That's what I think of when I see this. Something cool about this section is... Oh, you can get health back. Uh, you know, for the cookie jar thing. So that's... Genuinely nice. But yeah, I think of uh, the Monstro boss fight when I get here. Because you pretty much just have to, you know, attack this thing inside of. Oh, I think we... Wow, we did it. <laughs> In one go. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, sometimes you have little mini-boss fights like that, which is pretty neat. Doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. Oh, I need to change that thumbnail. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Also, I forgot about the black bars, but nah, it's fine. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit anymore, man? It's just, just my Let's Play content. People are going to watch the video anyway. Thumbnails are not going to be that exciting to look at, regardless. Alright, so, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time for some more Ape Escape. And, yeah, um, I don't know how many levels there were. There's not that many. There's like, I don't know, 20 maybe? Maybe. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less. I don't know. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and as always, take care, everybody.